people 2022 coming to an end it's been incredible huh incredible i want to share the um i want to share some thoughts and then um i want to share some thoughts and and then we'll move on to i'll sh- i'll uh, share the invite link and you guys can jump on i want to mention that you see we as humans we easily become plagued by by mental thoughts and sometimes these thoughts are not always a force for good okay they can be harmful and um, and i guess in one reflect one manifestation that is or in one manifestation that's a uh, a reflection of the hadith that we have these n- negativities always with us if somebody wants to see in one representation of the hadith being that we have an an angel and a and a devil with us meaning a source of positivity and a source of negativity one uh symbolic extraction from that or um contemporary words for that today um could be somebody could use words like that or they could use literal words as well like angel and demons but a more contemporary a uh, common usage people may see a force of positivity and a force of negativity now these n- negative thoughts they they like a, they can be a disease so i want to share something with you that to flip the switch okay and this is something personal as well it happened to me uh years ago so so i i remember as far back as when i would study in madrasa and i remember this one time thinking that oh my god yeah, this year as in the last year the year had just kind of gone we were embarking on a new year i remember thinking oh my god last year this happened as in something unfortunate like i fell ill and i i remember i had this um almost like a pneumonia like infection almost uh of the lungs and and it was horrible and it was really painful excruciatingly painful and i couldn't at first figure out what it was because it would cuz first it just started off as a mild cough and as it built up it would hurt all over and i initially thought it was muscle pain from going to the gym but it wasn't it was then it started to get worse and worse and i i thought have i sprained a muscle because it would hurt on the back in it would hurt on the chest it the pain would just spread and it got it became debilitating at a point then eventually i uh you know went to the hospital and they checked me and examined me and and it was I remember thinking oh that you know you know this year this happened negative and also something else happened negative see this is the waswasa the the force the negative force the shayateen okay and i remember thinking damn oh i wonder what even worse may happen the following year now you see that thought just being planted inception so the following year i can't remember some event happened like like in all years something may happen i can't remember now but something may have happened i'm i'm abroad this is going almost like two decades ago and i'm thinking oh my god this year this has happened and now see how this disease is taking root so 
so at one point in the coming years, so then I would forget about it. I wouldn't always be plagued. I wouldn't be constantly plagued. But let's say when a new year was about to begin, sometimes I would, upon reflection, think, damn, this year such and such had happened and such. A... Oh, my God, I, uh, uh, what's going to happen next year? Do you, do you see what I mean? This kind of a thought. I wouldn't constantly dwell on these. I wasn't that kind of a person, but I would have these. This moment of negativity getting anchored into my anchored into my psyche now so at one point i thought to myself that what, what am i doing what am i why am i allowing this to even occur as a phenomenon you need to you need to to, to face and counter this negativity so initially with a simple dua because this is in essence superstition this is a form uh albeit a metonymic form but it is a form of superstition so initially you see so superstitions are like rituals so the first step is you counter them with a ritual so a dua Allahumma la tayra illa tayruk, wa la khayra illa khayruk, wa la ilaha khayruk. Ya Allah, there is no omen except an omen you give. There is no goodness except goodness that is given by you. There is no deity or God except you. What a beautiful and empowering dua. So straight off the, off the cuff, that. If I had that thought, Allahumma la tayra illa tayruk, wa la khayra illa khayruk, wa la ilaha khayruk. And in some hadith, they would say, you do tafal, which is like a ritualistic kind of aspirated, uh, almost spitting like gesture. So you're not actually spitting, but you're going like, and they, in, in a hadith, it says on the left shoulder. Now, this is just a ritual for people who are caught in rituals, superstitious rituals to counter that. And psychology actually commends these kind of practices today. So, like, a person might say, la hawla wa la quwata illa. There is no power or might except by God. Dispelling the illusory power of these things. Allahumma la tayra illa tayruk, wa la khayra illa khayruk, wa la ilaha khayruk. Okay, that done. Then I started to, I flipped the switch. I thought, Stop that dead in its tracks. You reflect instead, come from this angle, that what amazing things happened last year. You see? What, you know, fantastic, what heartwarming events took place this whole year. I thought, Oh, yeah, this happened. Oh, yeah, I managed to uh, finish this thing. Oh, yeah, I managed to really connect with this. And I wanted to I wanted to connect with that so badly. And oh, yes, I I, I met that person. What an amazing, you know, there was this uh, a, a bond of friendship we developed or oh, my God, I got to learn these things. I made this accomplishment. Oh, my God, I. I wonder what amazing things are going to happen next year. I wonder what Allah has in store for me. You see, so you flip the switch. From a moment you were thinking, oh my God, I wonder what horrible things might happen next year. To all of a sudden, yeah, you know, this year, this happened, this happened. This was just, oh, I loved this. This was such a great time. This year, that event took place. That event, oh my God, I can't wait. I wonder what amazing ni'am and blessings Allah has this coming year that are going to unfold for me. And that is an amazing way to move forward each year. So do that. Try that. Um, I want to share that with you guys because it's something really... Uh, I find it's it's a way of 
always keeping your positive spirits. May Allah bless you all and make things easy. Ameen.